constantly working but still struggling to make ends meet. This is somebody who goes to work every single day and still can't cover expenses. There are more than 127,000 households in Northeast Louisiana, and more than 72,000 of them are living below the ALICE, asset limited, income constrained, employed threshold, meaning they're one emergency away from a financial crisis. Working mothers, fathers, families with kids, uh, trying their best to get by. The basics, rent, food, utilities, and clothing, have many families in the Arklamis unable to pay every bill every month. Add affordable health care and daycare to the mix. They may wind up having to make choices between like paying the water bill this month or paying the electric bill this month. 20% of Washita Parish households are living in poverty. That's an annual salary of barely over $13,000 for single parent homes and a little over $25,000 for a family of four. Trying to think about the future, but they don't have enough money to save. So where do these families turn? Things like food stamps and housing assistance and Medicaid. Giving many taxpayers who help pay for these type of government assistance programs a belief that those getting the benefits really don't need or deserve them. The poor that are mooching off the system uh, while the rest of us uh, pay our way and their way. Oh, these people are just taking advantage of uh, handouts. But experts say that's far from the truth. If we want to hold on to that myth. We can only do it by ignoring the reality that Alice has now put right in front of us. United Way's Alice report shows real data of what the daily lives are like for those living in economic distress. More than 31,000 households in Washita Parish are struggling to afford the cost of living in the Pelican State. A whole lot of people who work very hard to try to make ends meet, but are in a position of having to make cho choices, not because of any uh, lack of effort on their part. We all know Alice families and Alice households. So how do these families break free? Nora says it's up to all of us to make a change. We need to do some things to make sure that work pays enough to support a household. Our community institutions and the leaders of those institutions need to step up uh, and begin to push this kind of information out. And understand the working poor are trying to get out of their circumstances, but often can't do it alone. Reporting in Monroe, I'm Randy Ayala.